you will understand exactly what support should be doing in attack during the preparation phase, early, mid and the late round action phase, and much more. Timestamps and subtitles are always available. Basics. There are multiple roles in attack, but two main ones are entry fraggers or entries and the supporters. By the name of the supporters, you could guess that you will be supporting your team. But you're supporting your team even as an entry fragger. So we have a question of what exactly a supporter should do. In short, the supporter helps his entry fraggers to get the map control in the early phase. And once it is done, support usually helps to do the execution well. Whereas entries are usually those that hold the fangs during the execution. This is already something that you didn't expect, right? Entries holding flanks. Well, here's Kantoraketi on Ash holding flanks for the operators that do self destruction to do the vertical pressure. Or joystick, again, Ash holding the offices on coastline. To get a vid about entry fraggers, let's hit this video up with 2000 likes and comment down below. And I will publish that video as soon as possible once we reach that milestone. These are obviously not black and white rules. I purposely use the word usually as it depends on the situation and the overall places where your team is. Supporters could also be holding the flank during the execution. Okay, since I told you too long didn't watch of what supporters should do, let's go now in depth with real examples what supporters are supposed to do. We will start with the operation selection. The supports are usually those utility heavy operators, such as Capito, Montaigne, and so on. Keep in mind that the most operators can be played as support, it's just a matter of what your team needs during the round. For an instance, if you need Gridlock's tracks, Dokebi's phone, or Ying's candela for the execution, clip in the background, you will most likely have them on the support roles. However, if you don't need them, you will use them most likely as entries. For example, Joystick used to play Nomad as entry on Consulate. So the point of this paragraph is, support operators are those that are bringing a lot of utility to the team. And the team requires that utility for a specific part of the round. If you get these two right, then you are playing a support operator. Note how I said specific part of the round, because it doesn't mean just for the late round plan. It could be the same as in the clip in the background, using Hibana to open the toilet wall in order to bypass the deployable shield of the white hallway. Hibana couldn't do this before piano and the shop were cleared, because her exeros will be denied from the pixel spot. Question. What is the first thing you think of when someone says support? Answer down in the comment section. Before tips and tricks on how to hold the flanks as a pro, let's talk about the preparation phase. Since you will be droning for the entries, you want to put a drone in a way that you can immediately start off droning the room. Bonus parties if you are already in the building and already saw that no one is in a room. A very good example of this is in the garage on the clubhouse. Having a drone there means that you will know immediately if someone is on the catwalk or below like in the Harry Potter. This means that your entries who are pushing garage can immediately enter and just worry about the lunch. It probably will be drawn out from the other teammates. A few more examples of these drones were shown in the ultimate drone guide video. It will be very useful to check that one as well. Now if you are in a bigger stack, you will most likely have more supports. With this in mind, you can block off the whole floor with just two cleverly placed drones. I took these two drone spots from the wild card, as you can see in the background. With these two drones, you can immediately know if the top floor is clear or not by just quickly swapping these two drones. Again, for more similar preparation drone placements, to clear out the whole floor or a bigger section of a map, which are extremely powerful, especially in the 20 second meta, check out the drone video in the description. Also, this was assuming you were attacking the basement. However, 
Let me give you another example that wasn't in the droning video. Theme park. Entries should usually leave a drone as a flank drone, and on theme park, let it watch dragon stairs. With the other two support drones, you can enter from the castle gate toward the balcony, and then you can go to the cache and control room. With these three drones and an entry fragger or two, you can immediately enter in a building by just having one player switching over these three drones. When talking about getting the drone in the position, you don't need to immediately go to the cache or security. Wait at the balcony for 10 to 20 seconds for defenders to get to open, initiation or office. Once they are there, they most likely won't go back towards the dragon stairs, so your path is clear. Even if you cannot get your drones on the top, having your drones ready by the balcony is definitely recommended, because you can always check beneath the barricade. With these drones, you can simultaneously push both initiation and office, which will be available in ranked, maybe not in competitive game modes. Ok, so the preparation phase is done. You're most likely droning for the entries, there's usually two droners, two those that push and one covering the rotation. And a quick example is border if doing the vertical push onto the armory and lockers. Drones are coming from the customs and tellers, the rotation watcher is either by the east stairs and the main entrance and pushers are from either customs, reception and tellers. More in depth of how to do this, check out how to make the text shots in the description. You don't need to drone more than you're supposed to. Sometimes not cleaning the whole floor is a strat, so don't waste your drones. In certain situations when you need to clear the whole room, you need to help out your entries to get a section of a map and then leave a drone and go to a specific spot to support their pushes, usually crossfires. Example will be on Cafe Dostoevsky when attacking reading and fireplace. The section of a map that you need to help attackers to get is piano, and once that is clear, at least one of the supporters should watch the skylight, or even be by the east windows. Getting piano control sometimes can be just by pure droning for the team, but usually it is destroying a deployable shield by the pixel spot. So, as a termite, you'll most likely want to waste their ADSs or magnets with the flashbangs. Just pointing this out, that a supporter doesn't necessarily mean drone watcher. It means helping your entries to get the map control by any means. In settled teams, you will usually have a pre-planned basic strat how to deal with the default defenders. And then you can adapt accordingly. Sometimes watching the flank is what the support has to do. More about watching the flanks will be said later. Ok, so the map control has been granted and it's time to start with the execution. Depending on the entries, entries should start watching the flank now. Where your heavy utility operators like Apito, Gridlock or whoever you brought to help your plant is getting ready for just that. Your heavy utility operator should not be planting. Those that did their job should. Example. If Thatcher would be planned by the default of the bank, there is no way that he can throw an EMP in the middle of the plant to deny the pools or yokai drones. Or especially IQ. However, since Termite or Ash did their job, let them plant. Termite has the priority since Ash has a better gun. So, as a support, your job is to make sure that the plant is done. Sometimes just smoking of angles will be fine, all the time rushing with the ink to stall the defenders does its job, or all together with watching the angles such as being on the pool's double window. Side notice, if your entry was Buck, then in Cafe's example he wouldn't be watching the flank, but he will be breaking the floor and let's say Ash will be watching the flank, in a perfect situation. Ok, so we went through the whole round what you should do, how to use your drones, and when not to drone versus when to drone. And this was all applied for a stack. This also can be applied if you're playing in quattro queue, triple queue or duo queue. Usually it is not recommended to play support operators in the solo queue. Reasons will be given in the solo queue video. And if you want to see a solo queue video, 
you already know what to do. It is very important to know when to drone, because you don't need to drone with three or more people in the most situations at the same time. If you're getting an information, make sure that you can either act directly or indirectly on it. All the previous situations were applied on ideal situations of 5 versus 5. However, if you have a dead man, then your job is usually never to watch the flank. The dead guy watches the flank drones. Speaking of the flanks, when you're holding a flank, rather have a drone facing the flank than you're holding an angle on it, face checking. For instance, if you're holding the lobby on coastline, similarly as joystick but he did on office, instead of having gun pointed at lobby, be close to it, but watch a drone that is in the lobby. This is extremely important for the execution flank watcher, like on the bank main stairs or the top square. With the drone, you're super safe and you're picking when to start a fight. Also means you're pre-firing and you don't lose these. The most important things to remember is supporters do not mean droners. They are to support their team. They will drone in the early round but after that, it heavily depends on the situation. Supporter needs to expertise their droning skills. They have to know all the drone holes, parkour spots like on the clubhouse, jacuzzi or theme park, to get the drone somewhere very safe. There are no operators that are solely support operators. However, utility-based operators and operators that are required for a push are usually these. I got a question now for the feedback. Do you prefer these like videos when I'm talking what you should do in the prep, early, mid and late round with examples or not? We still have to make videos of how to anchor and how to entry frag. So the feedback will help me a lot. Thank you for watching this video and staying with me for this long and thanks all the patrons and YouTube members for making this video available. If you want to learn all the basics and advanced things about the siege. Make sure to give me a like, subscribe and click the notification bell to get all notifications from my channel. Make sure to give me feedback down in the comment section below.